Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our What's for Dinner videos come out every single Tuesday. In um, my household, it's me, my husband, and our seven month old little boy. So we're kicking off another week of What's for Dinner with some chicken in the crock pot. It's about 7.30 in the morning and I have um, some bone in skin on chicken thighs that I've seasoned up and right now I'm just browning them in the skillet because I want them to have um, some, some golden brown skin when it's all finished. And to the crock pot, I'm going to add some baby potatoes and some onions as well. So I'm gonna finish browning everything up and getting everything into the crock pot and I'm gonna cook it on low for probably about seven hours and then I will come back and show you our plates at the end. So here is the chicken. It cooked all day long. As you can see, there's lots of broth in there. There's potatoes and the onions. So what I did was I took some of that broth to make some rice because I really didn't want potatoes with my chicken. So there's the rice. It has a nice color on it from all the uh, chicken stock and the seasonings. And then what I did was I made a kind of a broccoli au gratin. It's a recipe that I totally made up. I could have used some more broccoli uh, so that it wouldn't be as soupy as it is, but it is really good. So I had um, about a pound of fresh broccoli florets in my freezer, fridge, excuse me. And what I did is I kind of made like an Alfredo sauce. So I used this um, heavy whipping cream and then that's just the spoon that I use for the crock pot. And then I use this chive and onion cream and I put it in a saucepan on the stove, let it heat up. I added some grated Parmesan cheese and then I added the broccoli to it. Then I added some additional cheddar cheese and then I put everything into a casserole dish and I baked it. And it's pretty good, but like I said, I probably could have used some more broccoli or used less of the heavy whipping cream. Um, but this is Howard's plate. He's got two thighs, he's got the potatoes and the rice. For some odd reason, I can't eat potatoes and rice together. I have to have one or the other, and with my chicken, I like rice. So anyway, this is what we are doing, what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having a meal that I have been avoiding. I have had this shrimp in my freezer for a while. It's from Kroger, it's crunchy butterfly shrimp. And when I bought it, it was buy one, get one free. And then I, I think I cooked it once or twice. And Howard told me he does not really care for crunchy butterfly shrimp. So I haven't been making it, but it's in our freezer. And I told Howard, we've, we've just got to eat it. So that's what we are having tonight. I made some shrimp in the air fryer. And then I had to go to Walmart over the weekend to get some stuff for Harrison. And I just happened to see this on an end cap, um, Cheetos mac and cheese. I think it was 96 or 98 cents, I can't remember. But they had the original flavor, which is this one. And then they also had a flaming Hot mac and cheese and then a jalapeno mac and cheese. So as you can see, I made it and it is a funky kind of a color. It's the color of Cheetos. Um, you just cook it just like you would regular Kraft macaroni and cheese. I will say that the cheese packet that they give you is a lot bigger than what comes in the regular Kraft macaroni and cheese. And then you just add butter and milk to it just like normal. Uh, Howard and I both tried it. Howard said it does taste like Cheetos and it really kind of does and it smells like Cheetos too. Um, it's okay. If you like Cheetos, you would probably like this mac and cheese. The color, and you can't really tell on camera, the color is really funky. It's hard for me to get past the color of this mac and cheese, but it's not bad. It is very cheesy. And then we're also having some leftover green beans that I had in the fridge that I wanted to use. And here is the butterfly shrimp that I mentioned to you that I made in the air fryer. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having frozen pizza. I was planning on cooking tonight and then I ended up having to clean up today, mopping, washing rugs, all of that stuff. And that was the last thing I felt like doing was cooking. So 
We are having a um, frozen pizza. It is the pan pizza from DiGiorno. Here is the pan that it came in. So you cook it on 400 in the pan and then you take it out and you put it on a cookie sheet to um, cut it up and so forth. And we really do like these pan pizzas. And so um, here is the crust, in case you've never seen that before. So here is the crust. And then let me lift up the bottom so you can see how golden brown it gets. So we really like it a lot. So this is what we're having for dinner, quick and easy, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having egg roll in a bowl. I have made this several times on our What's For Dinner videos. I've become obsessed with these things. Um, but I had some coleslaw mix in my fridge that I needed to use. So it's a carrot and cabbage coleslaw. And then I also had some ground pork in my freezer, so I used that. And what I'll do is I will link the recipe that I use in the description box, but I do add to the recipe. So I do add sesame oil and hoisin and some other things. And then we're also having spring rolls. These were in my freezer. These are from the Dollar Tree and we like these. This is my last package for us to go through. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so Howard and I had to run some errands today and we got back a lot later than I was expecting. So I just didn't feel like cooking dinner. So while we were out, we decided to stop by this wing place that I've heard a lot about. So Howard got their wing combo, which comes with wings. He got barbecue wings and then a Philly cheese steak. And here it is. It has mushrooms, onion, bell pepper, cheese and mayo that that's like the classic sandwich and then i got a wing combo i got lemon pepper wings and fried rice no veggie so that's eggs in there so this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time